Hello everyone. Welcome to MSE 2602 Materials Chemistry. Our technology-driven world is fueled by advances in materials chemistry with examples of application in areas such as advanced ceramics, biomaterials, and energy technology. Can we have a ceramic gas turbine, a polymer hot valve, an efficient and flexible solar cell? To answer these questions, we need knowledge of materials chemistry. So, what is materials chemistry? Let's go back to the 1990s. Many new exciting scientific discoveries were coming out at that time, such as carbon nanotube in 1991, the growing use of combinatorial chemistry for the synthesis of small molecules, giant magnetic resistance in 1988. Many new opportunities were appearing for chemists in the process of discovering new materials. As a result, the discipline of materials chemistry was born of the marriage of material science and chemistry. It is the study of the synthesis, structure, properties, and applications of solid materials. Now, materials chemistry becomes the core of material science, especially when we were talking about functional materials. This course covers the materials chemistry of several major categories of materials, including metals, ceramics and glasses, semiconductors, polymers and nanomaterials, with the emphasis on material synthesis. Different synthesis methods and their relating theories will be covered, such as traditional extractive methodology, solid state reaction, solution-based synthesis, thin film preparation, photolithography, and various polymerization methods. In addition, this course features a virtual experiment, which is an award-winning project. Through the study of this course, students can master the basic knowledge and theory in the field of material science and chemical preparation and learn to analyze and solve problems by applying the basic knowledge and literature study. I'm Huan Nan Duang. I'm Chuan Liang Feng. The, the journey, journey to, to explore, explore materials, materials chemistry starts now. now.